What's up guys? Welcome to your 38th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again, it's me, Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial, or what we're going to start building in, in the next few tutorials, is basically an application that we can use the camera's phone, or the phone's camera, and then, uh, you know, set that picture that we, we capture up to the phone's background, or wallpaper, of the actual phone. So, you know, it's going to be a pretty cool little application, uh, for the most part. But as always, we're going to have to set up the XML layout, and we're going to introduce a few new items within the XML layout. So we're going to say other Android XML file, and we're going to call this photo. All lowercase again, every time you guys make an XML or anything under a resource folder, again, lowercase. Hopefully you guys know that by now. And so, uh, that's crazy. XML. I don't know, for some reason when I use the screen capture my computer is super slow, but what we're going to add in this tutorial is basically we're going to add two buttons and uh, first an image view for the most part. So that's going to kind of give us where we're going to get our image back from. And it gives you a couple default items that you can set it up to start with. See I usually don't use the drag and drop so I was kind of wondering what this is. but and we're going to start with the icon, the default image that they give us, just you know for for simplicity's sake. And then uh, we're going to go in and add two buttons, one to access the phone. And uh, actually, I'm trying to think what we can do that's different. You can add an image button as well. We're going to throw one of those in there and hit OK. So as you can see the image button kind of adds an image within there if you want and then uh, when you click that we're going to take a picture and then when we click this button it's going to uh, set the picture to the to the paper or to the wallpaper for the most part. So I mean nothing too new but a little bit. So let's change the width and the height of our image view to like something like 250 dp uh, for both the width and the height. Change your image button, let's say the width to um, like 125 dp wrap content and then our button will say uh, One twenty-five as well. Now let's just change the references real quick. Image view, so IV for image view, and we're going to call this uh, returned picture because once our our camera takes a picture, it's going to return that picture and set it as that image view. And then um, let's go to our image button, IB for image button, and we're going to say take picture take pick something like that and lastly just a regular button uh, let's say set wallpaper and change the button text for the most part to set wallpaper as well so nothing too new in this tutorial as you can see the image view is new I guess we could probably uh, Oh, I must have set the height, so I'm going to change that real quick. You guys probably noticed that as I was doing it. And then you're like, oh, you're an idiot, Travis. And I'm like, yeah, I am. Just kidding, but uh, there we go. Hopefully that looks a little bit better. Maybe we want to center this, so we're just going to say Android layout gravity equals centered. And just copy that, that code and paste it for all these other ones as well. So uh, not too not too pretty there for that but you know basically that should work for the most part. Um, yeah that should work so that, that's basically the setup for the XML and then we're gonna get into our, uh, our programming in the next few tutorials and finish this up but again thanks for watching guys and hope you have a good one